this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another video, people. I appreciate y'all for coming to the channel. I appreciate everything that y'all do in the comment section. I appreciate the support for the channel. Appreciate just everything that everybody's doing, even the ones who are out there spreading the Second Amendment and, you know, just defending it. Because like I said before, we got a long way to go when it comes to the Second Amendment and stuff like that. So the fight is never going to end, people. So with that said, um, also, if you want to follow me, um, I got another channel, DC Channel TV. We're building it up over there, people. Um, it's a long-term plan for me. Even with this channel, we got a long way to go and everything. So go subscribe, link below, click on the link. DC Channel TV, go check me out over there. We talk about financial invest, everything, two-way business and stuff. So we do a lot of that over there. So thank you for the ones go over there. We got a lot of people going over there. So I appreciate that. That's another voice that you can hear me at. So with that said, right now, uh, when it pertains to your ammo. Now, I've been talking about this for a while. A lot of y'all been listening and stuff. We have went over as, as many, seem like as many cracks I could find, we have been over it. But this administration here, the Biden administration, keep bringing more, making more cracks. And so we already been having these different uh, conversations about them trying to um, ban pretty much green tip ammo, uh, come at the, um, the ammo manufacturers and stuff. It's just so much they're doing behind the scenes. I've been saying this for a while. Flying on the radar, people. Because you don't see it in headlines don't mean that this administration is not doing nothing behind the scenes. And I'm going to read a couple of things by the end of this uh, video. I'm going to read a couple of things and let you know that this administration has never stopped. I don't care what's going on in the headlines, Ukraine, it don't matter. This administration, number one goal was to come after the two-way community. They've been doing that. They did it when it first, when Biden first came into office, they came after the two-way community. They changed words on everything that we have bought. They switch and bait. So that's pretty much what they've been doing. And they're using everything in the government to do it. So right now, when it comes to your ammo and stuff, they're trying so hard that, hey, you know, they're uh, trying to stop um, the gun violence and stuff in this country and stuff like that. They're not coming after the people who's doing it. I'm talking about they're not finding ways to come after those people. They keep finding ways to come after law abiding citizens, people who are following the law and everything. And they're trying to make the law difficult, people. I'm talking about a lot of people don't talk about this. They're trying to make the laws difficult for law abiding citizens. And therefore, we had a lot of law-abiding citizens who've been caught in these traps. Then guess what? You lose your Second Amendment. You lose your gun rights and stuff. So that is the stuff that they've been doing too. So they're trying to bar as many people from being their own firearms people over the long term. They're not playing this short-term game that a lot of people keep thinking about. I'm, to my, I'm, not, I'm not in the box, people. I'm just not. I'm out of the box. And so I'm not following the headlines of the crowd, but I use the headline to bring a lot of awareness to a lot of things. Because I see it constantly. And a lot of it just slipped through the cracks and you never hear nothing about it. So right now, uh, when it comes to your, pertaining to your government people, they pretty much got a lot of contracts with the ammunition companies. And so they're trying to use a lot of leverage. They're trying to use their weight, people. They're bullying. This, I'm talking about, you have the Biden administration. It's pretty much a bully pit right now. They're trying to bully these ammo manufacturers and stuff. Hey, you know what? We... We spend all this money. We got you. We give you all these military contracts and stuff. So we want you to pretty much um, slow down, pretty much producing ammunition for the commercial, um, you know, pretty much the public and stuff. So we want you to cut back on certain ammunition and stuff. Your two, two, three, your five, five, six. Who knows what else they got? You know, they want to try to cut back on. So basically, what they're trying to do, people, the overall strategy is okay. We can limit the amount of ammo that's out there that the public can buy. That's going to pretty much drive up the price, drive up demand, make it expensive, make it so expensive that the average person can't buy it, people. They're trying to take it so pretty much it's going to cost you foot and leg to get this ammo. And they feel like, oh, well, that's going to work because then guess what? They figure that that's going to lower gun violence. That's going to lower the shootings and all this type of stuff. But these are the strategies that they've been doing. They've been pretty much pulling whatever they can out of the rabbit out of the hat or some type trying to do something. So this is what they're doing now. And I told you, your ammo manufacturers, your fire manufacturers are under attack. I'm talking about pretty much. It's so much, it's more stuff I got to talk about when it comes to your firearm uh, manufacturers. But when it comes to your ammo manufacturers, guess what? They're trying to tamp it down. See, once you get out, they're going to try to tamp it down, dismiss it and stuff. But they're actually trying to do this, people. They are trying to find a way to drive ammo prices up. 
I'm talking about, we don't talk about you have politicians want to have some type of tax, a, a tax that is so expensive, you know, make you pay some type of stamp tax, uh, make it so expensive and difficult, you don't want to buy ammunition. That's all they're trying to do, people. That's why I keep saying over here, get your ammo. When it's not in favor, people, guess what? Get your ammo. When it's in favor, guess what? Get your ammo. So basically what I'm trying to tell you, people, get your ammo because buying ammo is not going to stay easy. I keep telling people that, but you got some people who stuck, stuck behind time, just like your second amendment. Some people think, Hey, you know what? I'm talking about, we talked about when they've been coming after, you know, these two way, um, organizations and stuff that protect your two way, go out and fight, spend money, um, try to get, you know, um, just find people to fight for your second amendment out here. And guess what? They've been coming after them, trying to pretty much just destroy them. I'm talking about destroy them all the way to the ground. And the more they can destroy, the easier it can for them to pretty much go through and just start passing laws and banning stuff. So like I say, you got a lot of two-way organizations out here. I know a lot of y'all got your favorites and stuff like that. But they're still trying to do that, people. So I'm talking about the fight is 360 degrees. It's not in front of you, not just on the side and this, no, it's everywhere. And behind you, nowhere where you, I turn my head at, they're fighting at all fronts, people. So this is huge. So they're trying to pretty much get ammo out of the public's hands. And they're trying one way is to drive it up. So somebody in the Biden administration said, hey, we need to just make it so expensive they can't afford it. So we get it out of the, the people who can't afford it hands. And then you still have your rich people who can afford it can still get it. Because like I said before, um, security, the president's security, uh, to my, all these politicians' security and stuff. So they got the money. They'll use our taxpayer to keep buying all their ammo for the, the people that's, you know, that's watching them can stay, keep training and all this kind of stuff. They're not thinking about the public people. I'm just saying. They don't want you to protect yourself, but they got all this protection that we pay for and stuff. And with this protection, guess what? To protect them, they got to have this ammo. So they're trying to make it so they're the only one to get afford it, people. So got to think about that a little bit. I'm just kind of throw that out there. So let's get to some a couple of things I'm going to read at the end of this video and everything and stuff. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. So we're going to go through and just read some of the stuff that's out there in the headlines, people. So um, we're going to continue this and everything. The factory owned by the Department of Defense allowed private contractors over years to operate the plant and produce 556 ammunition which is using the Air 15 for commercial sale that exceed U.S. military needs. Now, 50 House Republicans on Monday signed a letter urging President Biden to end consideration of banning commercial production of certain type of ammunition, the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant in Missouri. Matter told that the blog that Winchester Ammunition would operate the U.S. Army Lake City Ammunition Plant in Missouri was told no longer permit to sell M. 855s and SS-109 ammunition produced the excess of military needs of the civilian market. Now, it suggests that much move could have sufficient impact of available ammunition types on commercial market as well as drive up the price alleged by the administration effort to make shooting AR-15 as expensive as possible for people in the U.S. Currently, Winchester is allowed to sell surplus ammunition at the meet military needs in the civilian market, but National Shooting Sports Foundation spokesman Warren Bannon, the practice will significantly reduce the availability of ammunition in the market and marketplace, um, but National Warfighting Readiness at risk, but National Shooting Sports Foundation at Winchester strongly opposed this action. The practice now represents 30% of 556 and 223 ammunition sales. This is what they're trying to do, people. So this is DC Channel Guns. I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.